Research from the world of sports performance has revealed that winning at the elite level is dependent upon an athlete's mindset more than on their physical ability. Beliefs about who we are, our abilities, and our potential can make the difference between winning and losing. This has been one of the single most important factors in both my son's uh, racing development and their continual improvement. Related research into mindset and learning has also revealed that adopting a growth mindset over a fixed mindset can be the difference between, a le between learners who accept a challenge as an opportunity for a development and growth and learners who have difficulty coping with challenge and resort to cheating. In this module, you'll learn how to take Carol Dweck's growth mindset research and her recommendations to ensure your learning environment promotes the growth mindset. Dweck offers a very simple and easy way to promote the growth mindset. Promoting the growth mindset is very easy to do, which also means it's very easy not to do. It's easy to do because when you are a learner and you say to yourselves, I can't do something, all you need to do is add the word yet. I can't do it yet. It's also easy not to do because if you don't promote the growth mindset, there are no immediate consequences. You only get to see after it's too late that students have been limited in their mindset perspective. You'll also need to pull together your learning environment thinking and organize all these into your ePortfolio. Please keep in mind that like learning design, the development of your ideas in uh, the learning environment or on the learning environment is an iterative process and one that you'll be continually revising. What you put together for this module assignment and in this course will definitely change as you work on other courses and on the capstone course. So view this work that you've done here as a starting point or a foundation as something to build on.